everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing great and I'm very happy to see you here. Uh, today's video will be a prediction video for Europe and I have thought about doing this for a couple of weeks now and the situation in Europe are like ex um, accelerating and it's getting very intense and a lot of uh, worrying signs everywhere and uh, we have this big conflict in the country you and a lot of people are worried what will happen in their country and so on and I was thinking about doing this uh, prediction for a while now and um, today is the day I'm going to do it going to do it but before we begin with the prediction for Europe, I just want to say to all of you wonderful viewers, I want to thank you so much for all of your support, for your comments, for your sharing, for your caring, and for all of your likes. And I'm sorry if I cannot answer to all of your mails and comments, but I read them and they are very heartwarming and I thank you very much for them. Well, um, about this um, prediction I'm going to do, I'm going to do it with mainly my uh, quartz crystal ball. I will have two crystal balls as extra support uh, for uh, channeling the energies. It will be a um, fluoride crystal ball and an amethyst and they're gonna like balance up the energies so hopefully we're gonna get some good answers or good visions of what we can expect any main events uh, in Europe and Europe consists of many countries uh, I probably will not be able to mention all of the countries I cannot promise that Specifically, your country will uh, come up in a vision or in the cards or in my crystal ball. This is a little bit out of my control. Out of my control. But whatever vision I get or whatever message that can come through, I will pass it further to you. I have some maps here over Europe, in case I see um, specific area, but I cannot pin point exactly which country it belongs to so I have as a little help the maps uh, a vision not always comes with a with a map mm. uh, what more and this prediction will be uh, for the rest of the year it could be a little bit longer uh, I'm cannot say specific for how long and uh, time is very difficult to predict them in case I get some signs of a time frame in a, in a vision, I will also uh, say it. But time as for all that works in this spiritual field are very difficult to predict on. Hopefully we're going to get some uh, straightforward answers today. Um, what's more? Well, I have Oh, sorry, there's a little mosquito here. Uh, uh, I have started up a channel on Rumble in case something happens to this channel, hopefully not. But there is a um, backup channel on Rumble. You can find the link in the description below. And it's uh, you search for Tarot by Isabella without any space and you will find my videos there in case something happened um, because things are heating up and um, yeah it's getting more and more intense on every plane here on this planet earth 
It's like a balloon that is inflating, inflating, and it's soon about to explode. Well, that was a little bit about that. Um, and for those who are new to readings with Crystal Ball, as I said, we're going to use uh, quartz crystal ball, and quartz crystals are very good conductors of energy. And they, in the form of catch the energy that is already there in the universe, transform it and transmit it to me, the receiver, and I can get information on something I see, I hear, I smell, taste or feel. So whatever that comes through, I will say it further to you. And uh, since we live in very, very strange days with a lot of censorship and the free speech are not there anymore, if there comes to something that are very sensitive to this channel, I will try to use maybe some code words or a little bit in riddle. But uh, most of you will probably understand what I'm talking about in case I would have to use code words or a little bit riddle language. Well, and I also need, before we start with this reading, to concentrate for a few moments on my crystal ball and ask the powers, the forces to be with us so we can get as good and accurate information as possible. So please just give me a few moments and soon we'll begin. Europe. I need to put my glasses on to see a little bit better. And um, let's start them. For Europe, can we get any predictions for Europe? Um, the first thing I see here is Germany, and I see a lot of water in Germany. Uh, some manipulation with the weather system uh, will happen to Ger Germany, and it could be in certain areas, and the water level will rise more than usual, and it could be a little bit yeah, much wetter, mm, because I see cars. Uh, floating down the road in water. And this is mainly from the center of Germany uh, to south, in some areas there. And this is due to uh, the German people that are a little bit like rising up to their government and step putting the foot down with are not interested in more of the conflict. Uh, we want our government to focus on our country, not on the conflict in the East, and just um, pumping a lot of money in there uh, with no result uh, whatsoever. And uh, a lot of German people are waking up, and this is not liked, and they have to, like, create some kind of natural disaster uh, to make people focus on other things. Uh, when could this happen? It uh, could be in late summer, yeah, because I see the uh, trees very green, so it's not autumn yet. Um, it's a deep green color, and normally that color comes when it's uh, late summertime. In Albania, I see a lot of riots. Uh, people also, they're angry at the government. Uh, 
and a um, lot of politi politicians are gonna get scared like they're hiding in their houses people are banging at the doors um, some quite nasty stuff is coming up for Albania it, it seems like um, a lot of people are gonna take the law in their own hands um, because they feel they're the country is run by lawless people. And when could this happen? Uh, September, something like that, August, September. Now we come to Poland. Mm. And there could be some big problems with uh, Polish uh, energy support since I see Poland totally dark some kind of cutoff in electricity that will make Poland lose power um, for a couple of days yeah and this could be, I see that because it uh, could be a lot of military, Polish military that would say no, we don't want to uh, go and fight in the country you, for what, for who, for what reason. And like to put Polish people in their place, it's like scaring them with total blackout. Um, but the power will return, and um, yeah, I see it dark there for a, for a while. In the southern part of Poland, that is connecting to Hungary. Uh, let's see which which more country. No, it's not connecting to Hungary, to Ukraine, Slovenia, yeah, in, in the border, uh, southern part of uh, Polish border to Ukraine and Slovenia. And they're going to bust or, or they're going to yeah, take uh, a big uh, trafficking ring mm -hmm. and blow up this uh, organization or this practice. And uh, what they're gonna find in this trafficking ring, uh, who is connected to to what, uh, will be put out in in uh, in the public media, and it will shock a lot of people. And it will start big protests, a lot of um, demonstrations. See, we can see something more. Which country is this one? This is coming up. Austria. Mm. Uh, in Austria, I see like they're going to close their borders. Um, for some time, not allowing people, people coming in and coming out. Mm. Um, and I see it quite, it's going to be quite clean in Austria. I don't see big, big problems like other countries. Um, it's, but it will be some kind of clean out and they have to close their borders. UK is going to be very split. I see symbolically UK divided. Yeah, like two islands. Um, but it's not that it's going to divide in two islands. It's more it's going to, the population is going to be very split in opinions. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I say divide it first, 50% believe, 50 don't. Then I say don't, those who believe, it's going to be more and more, 75, 80, 85, 90. And, and believe in what had been done to them in, in an evil way in the last years. And there is going to be like a revolution in the UK. And total change in uh, government. And the new monarch in the um, UK, he will not sit for long. It's like he's taking off his crown symbolic and throw it away. I don't want to have this anymore. And I'm going to give it away to someone else. And this could be this before this end, end of this year. Uh, before the, the end, year ends, I see Ireland sending back a lot of illegal uh, people that, are, that came to Ireland. Uh, with um, illegally, yeah, and with not clean motives. Mm. So a lot of people that are not real refugees, or are there for some strange other reason, will be sent back to their countries of origin. And I see a lot of planes leaving uh, from Ireland to other countries. Let's see here what they so I get the right name of the country. Yeah. And the country of Moldavia is gonna look more and more to Romania. And there will be a lot of talks uh, if they can like fused together is some kind of um, two country, one country, two country, one country union. Mm. And uh, they're quite close to each other in traditions and so on. So it seems like, yeah, they're going to fuse together in some bigger state. And the Moldavian people are going to rise uh, very much from poverty and really say no to all the people that have um, sucked them dry for money, for natural resources. And it looks more like, no, now it's our people that is in first place. And they're going to kick out a lot of uh, Western, uh, you can say, leeches. Yeah, that what that's it. That is a Western leeches uh, from other Western countries. That is not Moldavia. That yeah, are good on um, sucking countries dry. So they're gonna kick them out, and they're gonna start some all their own tribunals uh, especially with a lot of criminals that are passing the borders due to the conflict in the country you some kind of scare event uh, I see on the Finnish border with the country R. I don't see any bombs dropping in, in Finland, but uh, I see the country are gonna 
I used to have flex their muscles a little bit, yeah. Mm, I don't see the country are wanting wanting to do any harm to the Finnish people, but certainly it would be some kind of muscle flexing. Mm. Uh, at the end, um, the fence or the wall they want to build uh, to uh, to the country are they, it will not be finished and it will be dismantled. Mm. Since I see the war uh, between country R and country U, um, it's likely it's gonna come to an end before this year is over. And the leader from the country, you, who is at the moment traveling around in uh, many countries, uh, he will be caught because I see him with um, hand handcuffs and he will be brought in front some kind of judge or tribunal and this will happen this year and many European countries will be in shock and for the Swedish media and newspapers and so on I see in, in the following weeks, months, you can say, uh, I see them like all we guys don't, don't know what to say because everything they have been talking about before, what's happening will be the totally contrary and what they were pushing on people, the news or the information. Uh, so there will be like a surrealistic sort of feeling when you watch the the news in, in, in quite near future because you're gonna see the journalist or the news reporters all stand uh, 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 like uh, 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 don't, don't know what to say and um, people are gonna literally throw eggs on the news stations in Sweden. Mm. Some big revolutions in Sweden I don't see because the people are don't have that force or power or don't really want to move out from the couch. But there will be a lot of angry voices, yes. And there will be more, no, no way, we will not agree on that. But I don't see big manifestations, big riots, like in Paris or other countries. Some kind of protest, but not as in, um, in Southern Europe. Uh, I see the leader or from Hungary, uh, shaking hand with a leader from Turkey. And it seems like those two leaders gonna have some kind of agreement between each other, or they're gonna help each other, or yeah, some mini, uh, my, group or yeah I don't know how you say it in English yeah like a pact between each other mm. Um, and the truth about the new treatment and all it has done to the people the last years uh, because I see um, 
Yeah, a lot of nasty stuff here anyway. It's like it's going to be more revealed. And it's really going to shake Europe. Uh, and it's it going to be a hard blow uh, to a lot of people in, in Europe. Um, yeah, because this will come to the open and um, it will not be able to be hidden away. Mm. The current leader in uh, the Netherlands, uh, he will <laughs> escape the country. Mm. And I see no country are willing to invite him in. Like refugee. Uh, and there will be a um, big last battle, you can almost call it, uh, with the Dutch farmers. They are not giving up. Uh, and if enough people are standing behind them, they will not be able to stop them. And country after country in Europe um, it will be revealed that a lot of uh, manipulation in elections, that many of elections in Europe, I will not mention any, any countries here, um, they are rigged because I see default, default, rigged, 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 um, yeah, like red signs in a lot of countries and all the red signs have like a thread red thread connecting uh, to the same organization or the same people that are standing behind those elections uh, so a certain outcome will will be Uh, for the new Prime Minister of UK, there is no bright future, future for him. Yeah. I cannot go into detail what will happen there, but nothing nice. <clears throat> In Spain will also be quite a revolution because I hear a lot of um, people swearing in Spanish mm -hmm. and Spanish people are very good, good uh, imagination for the swear wor words and I hear a lot of swearing and people really mad. Unfortunately, in Italy, in the northern part of Italy, I see some big explosion. This is not that they will be under attack from country or bombs or something like that. No, and not war explosion anyway, uh, but a big explosion. Mm -hmm. uh, could be materials that are labeled not 
explosively about something else, but the containers, whatever, uh, hides uh, explosive stuff. Mm. So something can happen that this will go off. So it will be an accident, in a way, they call it an accident, but due to wrong labeling of the content. Many East European countries, all the countries that are more at the East, like former Yugoslavian countries, Macedonia, Bosnia, Slovenia, Hungary, Romania, all those countries, Poland and these countries. Um, but more the Eastern, like Greece and Romania and yeah, former Yugoslavia. It looks like many of those, Bulgaria also, many of those countries uh, will want to say goodbye to the EU first. It's like they are going out, not interested anymore. And the people of Denmark are going to feel quite lost because they don't really going to belong nowhere because there will be chaos in Germany, chaos in Sweden and don't, they will not have any allies, 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 yeah, allies. Uh, no, the, yeah, so they don't really know who they're going to hold their hand. Since almost every country in Europe are gonna like not stand on a stable ground. And people of Denmark would like to know answers. Why, 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 why? And I see people in the news and government, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I see a train in northern Norway. They have like a train track and that track will go off so the train will be stopped from moving from north to south, south and north. Uh, could be a derailment but the track is cut off. I see it like a sabotage in, in, in night, night time. Um, the Nord Stream pipeline that was sabotaged and, and some Nordic countries are accused of standing behind together uh, with the big country in the West. This will be published public. The truth about the Nord Stream will come out. And I see a lot of people in high position uh, like trying to explain themselves, but but we we didn't know, but we were not, but we were told to do so, but 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 but, and um, they're gonna be really scared for their involvement in this sabotage, and a lot of or a secret police or I don't know which one is gonna be taking those people out. 
for some kind of um, judgment. Mm. It will be quite problematic for the little countries of Estland, Lettland, Litauen. Uh, they will be cut off from the rest of Europe and there will be no Westerners that could like stand behind them or they can, you know, uh, help them out in this big conflict that is coming and um, there will be in a little bit trouble I don't see any big danger for the people in those countries but there will be a lot of lot of changes that will start this year uh, for the people but also political in those three little countries Estland, Lettland, Litauen This is what I could see in my crystal ball. Let's continue to the cards if we can get any more info about uh, some special events in Europe. And I'm going to place East, West, North, South and Center. Some cards in each of those directions. First I take three cards for the center of uh, Europe. Three cards for North of Europe. Three cards from Eastern Europe, three cards for Western Europe, and three cards for South of Europe. And on each of those piles, I'm going to put a gypsy card and a dice. Center, North, South, East and West. This was a blank one, so I need a new one. See what we can have here. Okay. Mm. Well, this is, yeah, quite turbulent cards. And it looks like this. Let's start in the center of Europe. That could be France, Germany, Poland. No, yeah, also a little bit Poland. Here we have a lot of anger. Uh, people are feeling victims uh, for the politicians, for their talk. And a lot of villains 
have gathered in those countries or are in ruling positions mm, and have made their population, their people, victims uh, for their yeah, politics, you can call them. And people will grow more and more angry. We're going to see that in France. We see it already in Germany, in the Netherlands, even in Italy. So it will, the northern parts, the people will get very angry because of the decisions that the ruling class had made without consulting the, uh, the people. And a lot of angry voices. We, we're going to, yeah, um, you can say the protests have not start yet, started yet. Even if we have seen a lot of protests, it really have not started yet. And what comes for the northern countries, Iceland, Norway, Finland, Denmark, and so on. The first card we have here are the cards of lies, seven of cups. Sorry, I'm... Uh, a little bit stuffed in my nose. It's a lot of pollen in the air, and uh, yeah, feels a little bit thick in my head. But if I sneeze or something, then yeah, then you know why. Anyway, uh, we have the card. First card. There is the card of lies, mm -hmm. and those lies are going to fall down. We have the tower, with which leads to a lot of nervous energy, a lot of people gonna feel a lot of lost, lost, they're gonna feel a lot of lost, no, they're gonna feel very lost, there, there is the world, word, so a lot of people gonna feel very lost, mm -hmm. uh, and we have the death card, so, mm, I would also say it's the death to the lies that have been told for the last years. And we have a lot of promises. So, people in leading position, oh, we promise you that. Sorry, if you believe us now, or if you do this, oh, we promise you, we promise you. We have the ball. So they're gonna throw the ball on each other or on something, someone else. No, uh, I was not responsible because this and that told me so. So it will be a lot of excuses, but the excuses will not be tolerated or being bought. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there are um, some um, yeah quite. Um, heavy times coming up for Europe. Uh, to the south of Europe, then we have Spain, Sardinia, Sicilia, Greek Island, Greece Island, Portugal, the southern parts. There will be much calmer than central and northern Europe. Still, people are gonna be very angry. But they will stick more together. The people will stick more together. They will not. They will not be so lost as in other parts of Europe, especially Central and Northern Europe. Um, they're gonna like, work for the same goal, or they're gonna gather together and keep together. Um, but the other countries see them more like shattered here and there, not really organized. Stronger family values, maybe, in the South. Um, to the West, then. Uh, Ireland, UK, Northern France, and Northern parts. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, a thief. And ten of wands and daddy. So a lot of corruption is going to be revealed in those countries. 
a lot of money that have disappeared or have been used uh, in wrong aims. This will be revealed that also a lot of money has disappeared. They, there, this is the money is not there. Should be there, but nobody knows where it had gone. So people could have uh, also problem with financial problem with the banks. Mm -hmm. And since we have daddy here, daddy rules or big brother sees you or whatever, the one that controls those countries, um, more the guilty ones, the thieves ones, uh, of those uh, fortunes that have disappeared. When we come to the eastern countries, mm -hmm. And then we can Romania, Poland, Belarus, Bulgaria, former Yugoslavia, and so on. Um, they have always been some kind of uh, conflicts between each country. Everyone, every little territory, want to have their own. So. Sovereign sovereignty, uh, and it seems like more and more people in the eastern parts of Europe they're gonna find that they have more in common than not, than nothing common, and um, their faith is maybe stronger than other parts of Europe. So a lot of those countries will be get drawn to each other um, because of faith, religion, or maybe same culture, background. And many of those countries have suffered a lot financially in the last decades, 100, 200 years, and they don't want to do that anymore. And a lot of this poverty is not because of the people itself, it's because the countries have been yeah, sucked dry by the leeches from other places. And there will be a lot of talk how to regain um, the power again in those countries. Mm. A lot of dirty secrets, uh, what is going on in the country you, that will affect because of the conflict surrounding countries mm, of the country you, through the wind, air or water, rain. Mm. So people going to be very angry about this and it's not their fault, it's what has been given to the country you in the conflict that spreads in water and wind and so on. Mm. Yeah. Let's see if I can get some more info about Europe, if there is any more important information to be said here in this prediction. Yeah, and now I'm gonna... I cannot say uh, direct countries here because there are many countries in, um, in Europe. I want to ask the cards if there is um, any advice or is there any is there any positive positive uh, news we can obtain about what is coming on for the for this year in Europe.
is there any advice or good words to be said? I'm going to use some oracle cards. Let's see what we have. The card in the center, center we have Ten of Swords. And that is, it's some difficult times are waiting ahead. It will be quite heavy. People will feel very exhausted, tired, and lack of strength. But all the cards around what is going on in Europe are very positive. It will be, even if it will be difficult for a period of time, there will be quick changes. And it will be changes for the better. We have the sun, we have ten of cups, two of cups, nine of cups. So people gonna feel more happy, more free. Um, at the end of this period, when all this nastiness and this lies and corruption and yeah things that are going on at the moment, when that is cleaned out, because it seems like it's going to be cleaned out, it will not last forever. Uh, we have the sun, so the light, the sun uh, will shine in those dark places. And um, I said, burn away uh, what is not clean. And due to that cleansing, I'm not. I cannot say exactly if this is gonna happen this year or next year, but some time, some type of cleansing of this diseased energy that is going on in almost every country in Europe will be done. After that, will come a period. With People have are going to be prosperous. We have eight of uh, coins. There'll be a job for everybody. People can develop. Uh, wishes come true. Uh, better status for families, for for women, for children. And it's safe to live your life if it's in in harmony and peace. Mm. So better times are coming, but first. Uh, some kind of clean out to clean up. Yeah. <clears throat> I also see that this year it will be signs on the sky in many countries in Europe. And this people will film and will publish on social media. And I see could be met meteorite, meteorites, you know, uh, little space stones, rocks that will bright up the sky. Uh, and it will even fall down on Earth, some space rocks. I don't see people getting hurt, but it will be a, quite a, li a light show. On, on the sky. Especially mm. uh, around Germany, Switzerland, border to Switzerland and Germany, will be extremely much UFO activity. So much that it cannot be not denied that something strange is going on. And that could be due to what Switzerland have underground in big facilities. Well, let's round up for today and uh, some last words before we finish this reading for Europe.
Let's take some last words. One, two, and three. And on each I'm going to put a dice. Here we have some dirty laundry that is hanging in the sun. Yeah. A regret about. And a frog turning into a prince. Or a prince turning into a frog. So a lot of dirty stuff, dirty laundry, is going to be put out in the open for Europe. And it will be very stressful for a lot of people. And there will be a lot of regrets, I regret about. And a lot of regrets will be towards those who try to warn the loved ones, don't take this new treatment, please don't believe this, or this is not true. And it will be regret that a lot of people, how they reacted to those who really, really loved them and cared for them. Mm. So there will be a lot of, I'm sorry, I didn't believe you. How could that be? But also a lot of healing in families. And we have a prince or a king turning into a frog, or a frog turning into a king. In this case, since the card is four of cups here. So as I mentioned before, it looks like the new king do not want to be king anymore. This is a card of disappointment. Or he will give up his title and give it to some, some other frog. Mm. Well, that was um, the last words for this uh, reading for Europe. And as I said, um, the time frames is a little bit difficult. Um, but the visions were quite strong. So let's hope the good things stays and the bad things don't really need to happen. Uh, what more? Yeah. And we should not lose hope. Uh, when we do a big cleaning at home, it's quite heavy. We have to uh, vacuum and uh, wash with water and then dry clean and move make furniture so it's hard work but when the result after this big cleaning is finished then we can just lay back and enjoy the view enjoy the cleanness and yeah enjoy life better so sometimes we need to have a big cleaning to have better lives and it is what this looks like it will be like a big cleaning. It will be very discomfortable. You will get sweaty, worried, stressy. But when we are finished, uh, people going to have much better lives. Well, that was what I could say for today. And if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press the like button, share button and subscription button. And to all of you wonderful, wonderful viewers out there, Take care of each other. Stay strong. Uh, it's going to be a little bit rough, but it looks like there is a big reward at uh, the finish line. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks again for watching. And hopefully we're going to see each other soon again. Bye-bye.